Hi, Yoni Nazarathi here. In the Math Teacher's Code series, uh, we will be using Julia Box. Uh, so let me show you how to set up Julia Box. Basically, Google Julia Box and go to their website, juliabox.com. This is a website by Julia Computing. And if you've never logged into Julia Box, um, as you can, using either uh, your email, a GitHub account, using a Google account or LinkedIn, uh, then you'd need to set up your account. So you can do this in various ways. I'll show you how to do it via your email. So log in with email. And at this point, put in your email address. So, um, but, uh, or register if you still haven't. So I'm going to register. And I'll register the email address math teachers code at gmail.com and then hit register so this is registering with Julia computing and now they say that they've sent us an email to complete the registration so I'll go to my email account in this case it is in another tab here using Gmail and there is this uh, account registration email from Julia computing and they say thank you for registering your account details are below to complete please visit this URL and we click a link to that URL and now I can put in a password so I'm putting in a password which will complete my registration and registration successful uh, I'll ask this browser not to save it and at this point we can log in so again, once we're registered, once you go into the, um, let's go again from the start to juliabox.com. Now again, you, can have, you could have actually skipped this step if you would log in with Google, but let's see how to do it with email, uh, which is a very general method. So now I'm in mathteacherscode at gmail.com and put in my password and log in. And at this point, Julia Box is setting up. And this is the main screen of Julia Box where we can actually launch an instance. So I'm going to launch an instance. Um, and it can be that also just before or after this step, you'll be asked to accept some terms and conditions so you can read through them and uh, accept them uh, to continue. So hitting this launch button would launch an instance and what this is doing this is setting up a, an instance of your server um, in the Julia computing server space and basically what we see here is a file system of our server now Julia box uses a system called Jupyter that's up here Jupyter um, to organize uh, the files and also to uh, run the notebooks so if I now do new and create a new file of Julia 1.0 what we have here is a new Jupyter notebook a new tab in the browser which is a new Jupyter notebook and this is where we're actually going to do our programming uh, you can rename this notebook and we'll call this demo 1 for math teachers code and as you see, once I renamed it, I still didn't put anything in the notebook, but it's called Demo 1 for Math Teacher's Code. If I go back here, um, then back to this tab, then I have this Demo 1 for Math Teacher's Code. And it's a file of 72 bytes at the moment. It's not very big. And now I can actually do some Julia code, for example, 1 plus 1, and hitting Shift Enter, and I get a 2 or 4i in 1 to 5 print len excited about math teachers code with 1 on epsilon and 